Hello and welcome to the second attempt. I had to get rid of about three or four videos on my phone, a bunch of pictures, and about 193 megabytes. Yeah, that's almost nothing, just to be sure. So I've got the Jackery 1500 wired into with the 60 watt panel and the two 100 watt panels I got from the Jackery Explorer 160 and the Jackery Explorer 1000. So this is one and a half times more power than the 1000, but eh, it might be about 50 pounds, but for some reason, they still included the one watt light bulb. I don't know about you, but if I'm lugging this thing around, it's just to set it up. I'm not gonna carry 50 some, about 50 pounds of battery just to see where I'm going. <laughs> I get it, it's a bit of a tradition, you know, because the smaller ones have those, and for something like this, I totally understand. It's tiny. That one right there might weigh five pounds. So, let me show you a couple of things. Some people were complaining about this on the reviews. I ain't paying any mind to it because I don't really care. There, uh, No, it's not because I didn't care. It's because... There were only a very few people So this is from the 60 watt panel that I got with the 160 years ago uh, about a year ago this You can see I think you can see They are a bit different So I plug this one into here and it doesn't even fit. Wrong kind of cord, too small. So you do have to get, so if you're gonna wire these with a normal solar panel, that's not gonna work too well for you. Hey, the LCD's back on. Now LCD is liquid crystal display, just in case someone didn't know that. I only found out about that uh, maybe a month, maybe a few months, maybe a week ago. Shut the torch off. There's the box that it came in, by the way. Alright, now let's look at the other goodies you get. Aside from the two adapters, that's the orange things there. This is it's a pretty nice case. Now, for reference, this is from the 160. It's just the uh, soft bag. And the 1000 is the same. I just don't feel like pulling it out right now. So this is a nice semi hard case. So in here you get your user manual right up top. And you get the DC. So that I can turn my torch on so I, everyone can see. So I can pop this open, plug this in, and trickle this off of that. Which I'm not going to do, because I don't think I need to. And torch back off. I think you guys can see that. Yeah, you know, it was a bit dark. Sorry about the flashing lights. Consider this. I'll put a disclaimer somewhere, probably. And then you get these two for your wall charging. I don't really need to go into explaining that. Simple enough. So I do not have the four 100 watt panels for this just yet. Otherwise, they'd be in those two windows over there. Because the thing is with the windows for me is bright lights do not agree with me I don't care for a lot of bright light that might be the almost non-existent astigmatism it might also be because I go to with the whole circadian rhythm I've got you know the sleep cycle I get to bed around anywhere from 2 in the morning to 6 in the morning 
So I'm basically awake all night. I'm a third shifter by nature. So. Yeah. I like that. That's nice. I'm about to cook off of it. Or not. We'll see. So, supposedly it can even run that mini fridge. Which is great because if we get a power outage, because we almost had a tornado come through here yesterday. Uh, so, if something does happen, I can pull in the radios, batteries. Turn the torch off so I don't get blinded when I do this. So, I can bring everything into the bathroom because it's the center of the house, no windows in there. Get all the stuff in there while the tornadoes or whatever's coming our way and then get baby bell last because if i bring her in there first she might just dart out of there and if she gets loose in the main house i'm not gonna find her she's a cat she's a little baby muffin she's a little baby muffin with a cone on her head because she jumped and Split one of her pads open. So, oh, it turns out she was born on April Fool's Day. So, Baby Bell, you're named after a cheese because they found you on a dairy farm. And you're literally my April Fool. You're such a good little April Fool. You're a good little fool. Little muffin. Uh, but, so she gets that on Saturday. And now I can finally keep my coffee maker, microwave, and fridge going during a blackout, and keep my stove going for more than three days, potentially four. If I'm running both of these, it's potentially four. That's rare. But I might even be able to keep my computer running during a blackout, which is great, because... SHTF, you know, or, well, no, SHTF would be a blackout. It was just, that's more of a personal thing. Something really bad happens. You know, meteor off the coast of wherever, I still have a little bit of power to keep some sense of normalcy while I figure out the new world, you know? I'm not too worried about that. Canned goods are fine. I'm out of beef ravioli. So I've got an empty box. Torch back on. Empty bin of beef ravioli down there. That stuff is the... Let's see, what is it? The mini ravioli. I've got... Tuna. Chicken. Cords. And the um, Walmart spaghetti and meatballs that I don't care for, but it's it's edible. Just not delicious. So, all of that is still the same. This is for a couple of light strips. I'm not... I think these are for under lights. I think those are meant for um, going underneath your car, you know. And, yeah, the under lighting and all. Got plenty of Propel. I'm down to four packets of this stuff. Kind of wish I would have read the family size bit. That is a big freaking meal. That's two meals, I think. How many servings is that? That's four servings. Eat that in one go. You don't need dinner. And three of these. Each one of these is one serving, I believe. Serving size, one package. There, it's focused, so I can't be called a liar now. Always fact check everyone, especially if it's me. So, that's all I've got for now. Panels are on the way. If not, this video will help. It might help explain that they're not here yet. In case I need that for a legal reason or whatever. So, anyway, that's all for now. Stay safe, have fun. And always be smarter than me. And, oh, and be smarter than the muffin who split her pad on nothing. Goofball. 
All right, I'm out.